Hello everybody, this is the notes for advanced geometry. Uh, we're starting chapter 5, which is dealing with um, all kinds of different segments, uh, mostly segments, inside of triangles. So, in this first section, we're going to deal with a thing called a mid-segment. We're also going to talk a little bit about coordinate proof, uh, which is just using coordinates to prove things. So, uh, there's going to be two videos for this section 1. First one is just the, the basic idea of a mid-segment. The second one will be dealing with that coordinate proof. Make sure you watch both. All right, so definition of a mid-segment. Uh, go ahead and hit pause. Copy that down real quick. It says, it is a uh, <clears throat> mid-segment of a triangle. It is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of the triangle. So um, just looking down here at this triangle ABC, let me move this box a little bit. If we put the midpoint of AB roughly there, put the midpoint of AC roughly there, the mid-segment is the segment connecting those two things. Now, there is an empty line up here. It says each triangle contains blank number of mid-segments or blank mid-segments. If I put the midpoint of segment BC here, connect the midpoints. There is another mid-segment. Connect these two mid segment or midpoints this triangle has three mid segments every triangle will have three mid segments now we are going to talk just about one at a time so we can get rid of that one we can get rid of this one just talk about one mid segment at a time they have certain properties so um, let's go to this okay again i have triangle abc here i have constructed uh, point D, F, and E. Those are the midpoints. So, if um, I put this mid-segment up there, D, F, I want you to concentrate on these two numbers here. The length of B, C. There we go. Now it finally moves. The length of B, C compared to the length of D, F. Okay seems to be about the same or not about the same sorry but there seems to be a relationship there okay i'm just going to move it around notice how bc is not changing neither is the length of df but now if i click on point b and move it around what seems to be the connection between those two numbers the length of bc and the length of df now i'm stopping at some there we go that's a good spot to, to see the relationship if i click on point c and move it around Okay. What you should be seeing is the length of the mid-segment is half. Now, um, half the length of that third side. So DF is half the length of BC. Some of these numbers aren't matching up. You know, 3.21 and 1.61, it's not exactly half. Uh, that's just it's a little bit of a rounding issue. Um, but that's what we get. Now, the other thing, let me move this out a little bit uh, like this. The other property is, as I move these around, what seems to be true about DF and BC? No matter how I move it, where I move these points, what you should be seeing is the slope of DF and the slope of BC. And again, it's not showing it the same right here. There we go. Now they are the same. Okay. Equal slopes means parallel lines. So, could do this for any of the other mid segments. Now, if we look at mid segment EF and its third side AB, now we're looking at those numbers in that purplish box. Uh, again, the mid-segment, it seems to be about half the length. No matter where I move it, it is half the length. And you can see they seem to be running parallel. I'm not going to put those slopes up there. Um, it's just putting it in weird spots, and it's a weird visual, so I don't want to look at those ones. But the slopes are the same. And if I look at the last one, DE, this mid-segment, now you're looking up here at those numbers. Again, the length of the mid-segment is half the length of that third side. 
So let's go back to the notes, uh, this one. Okay, you got two properties here. Mid-segment theorem is what it is called. The segment connecting the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is half the length of the third side of triangle and um, the mid-segment is parallel to the third side of the triangle. Okay, those are the two main properties here. It's the mid-segment theorem. That mid-segment, half the length of the third side, and it's also parallel to the third side. So, just a couple of quick examples here. The segment MP is the mid, or a mid-segment of triangle LNO. Find the value of x. Okay, so in this number one, um, the x is the length of the mid-segment. It's half the third side. So half of 16 is 8. All right, in number two, x is the third side. So um, this mid-segment, PM or MP, it is half of the third side. So now we have 7, which is MP. That is half of x. So multiply both sides by 2. There's your length of x. Number 3, MP was a mid-segment. That means both M and P are midpoints. So that means LP and OP are the same. So that means x has got to be 4. All right, question number 4 is very much like question number 2. X is that third side. So another way to think about it is um, if you take the mid-segment and multiply it by 2, you're getting the third side. X is 9. Just some very basic examples. Uh, you'll see some tougher problems dealing with equations, but you're still setting up the same way. The length of the mid-segment is half the length of that third side. All right, that's the first video. Uh, again, the second video is going to be dealing with the coordinate proofs. They're a little bit more challenging. Please watch it.